everyone, it's me, Pluto. Well, well, well some, some, some low-lifing body spoofed me over on the Facebooks yesterday and tried to run a phony sweepstakes using my name. So, so you know you've really hit the rock bottom of society when you try to spoof a dog to steal from nice people. So, Pluto's friends, I'll, I'll always sniff your screen to make sure it's really me, okay? No, no one should ask you for your personals on the socials. So, just scroll by, okay? But, but unfortunately, it sucked up all of Mom's time yesterday, so we couldn't do our usual class preps. So today we're gonna we're gonna go on a wing with it, okay? But 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 it made me think about this two-legged pastime called fraud and, and and what fraudsters are all about and where they even came from. So apparently the first the very first fraudster was a Greek sea merchant named Hegestratus who lived in the 300 before cookies. And and that short-sighted trickster, he tried to sink his own ship of corn to collect some money. But but he was caught by his own crew and they chased him off the ship and he drowned in the sea. That's quite an epic tale of trickery gone wrong. Then, then if you speed ahead to the 193 after dinosaurs, the Praetorian guards, who were an elite group of protectors of the Emperor Pertinax, well, well, those guys, they assassinated their boss, and then they announced the throne would be sold to the highest bidder. Hmm, maybe that's where the super PAC started. Anyway, anyway, this guy Julianus, he paid 250 pieces of gold for every soldier in the army, and he won the throne. But 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 the guards, they weren't even allowed to do that. It was a tricky scheme, and poor old Julianus, he fell for it. And after paying what amounts to about one billion pounds sterling today, he just got disposed of and was killed by a palace guard in the third month of his fake reign. Civil war ensued, and financial fraud was born. Okay, so so did you ever did you ever wonder about that old adage of buying some swampland in Florida and where that came from? Well, 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 I'm gonna tell you. You could blame Gregor McGregor and his repetitive name. And anyway, in 1821, Gregor McGregor was a Scottish general who conquered a fake island called Poeus, and he crowned himself the prince. And he went on to become famous for conning investors into throwing their money at him so they could have homes in this lavish paradise that didn't even exist, okay? Then then after that, in 1920, the Ponzi scheme started. Good old Charles Ponzi, okay? He scammed people by selling them postal vouchers at an inflated price, okay? So then, so then he would pay the first investors back with the money from the second investors and so on and so on. And by the time he was busted, he had made out of the country with $10 million. Whew. Now, now the two-legged world, it's fraught with fraudstering, okay? No, no one wants to make their, their money the old-fashioned way by working. They try to trick their way to have some fortune or, or even trick their way into getting their kids into a good college. They scam to steal some secrets. They try to sell you fake magic creams to fill your hard-earned facial wrinkles that should just be left to crinkle along on their own. They send you polite, misspelled emails asking if you would please help them with their $10 million. Or, or, or they try to get, get you to give them your credit card for phony sweepstakes. So, two-legged friends, the fraudsters are here to stay. The, 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 the next time someone calls and asks for your credit card, just say, hold on one moment, please, and put that phone down and go and have a snore. Or you could take, you could take the phone and hold it over a flushing toilet. <laughs> but don't give them your information. Whew, so, so, so that's it. That's a, that's a bit of a class on fraud string today. Mom is totally going to rest her nerves now for the rest of the week. Everybody have a fantastic week and stay safe.